Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and rescue video. Today we are continuing on with this thing right here, which is my mobile runway. So as you guys can see, it is actually on the train tracks, which is pretty strange. Um, but yeah, it does actually move all by itself. Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, it gets pulled along, and uh, we should be able to land a plane on it. So the, the, the locomotive that I've been using uh, is the one that pulls the Polar Express. Um, but actually, I don't know whether we should design our own locomotive to actually pull this thing. But anyway, with that being said, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and put some lights on the runway. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and make the side pieces of the runway a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit bumpy so we don't just fall off if we if we land. And we might also come up with a trap for it, so some sort of a resting wire. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okie dokie, so here we are, this is our runway. What do we actually want to have on this thing? We need a front and a rear, so uh, at the front we'll have white lights, okay, so right here and right here, and actually right in the middle as well, uh, and possibly even there on both sides, that'd be pretty good. Here we go, right here on both sides, yes, we need a light, and uh, that is it, okay, so grab ourselves a light and we'll put it right there, that seems pretty good to me. We'll then put a light right there as well, that's awesome. And then we'll have a light right there in the middle. Okay, that's pretty epic. Good. Uh, those things, I, I guess they could flash, but we're not going to have them flash just yet. We'll then have some lights at the other end, which are going to be like red lights, I believe. Because uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. So there we go. We'll have one there. We'll have one right here. And we'll also have one right here. Bam. Uh, but those are all going to be sort of red. Because it's going to be the back of the runway. Uh, and that makes sense. So there we go. Red lights and then white lights at the front. That makes sense. Cool. Okie dokie. So as for the sides uh, and how I don't want to actually fall off this thing, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a different color like this one, and we'll actually send this. Uh, this bit could be on the inside just like this. There we go. Uh, and I think that's going to go right there like that. That's awesome. And we'll literally just send this all the way down the edge. Uh, it is going to be smooth though, so even if we do mount this, uh, we should be good. And this is going to go all the way down to here. That's awesome. We're then going to take this bit all the way back down to the other end. Uh, and that should be A-OK -okay and should be pretty good, actually. So there we go. So now when we land, we have a little bit of a bumper on the sides. Uh, and that's great. That's actually really cool. Okie dokie. So now we actually need something else on here that allows us to actually catch it when we, uh, when we land. So we need to get ourselves probably... Oh, how is this going to work? Rope? All right, a rope anchor. This is going to be kind of interesting. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see. So we're going to have a rope anchor right here. Yes. Okay, very good. We're going to have a rope anchor probably right here as well. That seems pretty good. We'll then have a rope anchor right here also. There we go. That's pretty nice indeedy. In fact, we'll put it on there like this. That's awesome. Uh, and that should be good. All right. Now, if you're wondering what we're going to do here, we then need to get ourselves a pivot. Okay, here we go. Pivot. And we need to put it right in the middle of each one of these. So that's going to go there. It's going to go here. And that is it. Good. Connector. Here we go. This is where it gets kind of interesting. That goes there. That goes there. And we delete all of these. Delete this. Delete this. And that's all good. All right. Kind of interesting. We'll then do this to the back end of every one of these. Okay. And that'll be awesome. <laughs> all right. So if you don't understand what's going on here, essentially the rope is going to connect to there. Then it's going to connect to there. That's going to connect to there, to there, to there, to there, and then to there, and then to there. Okay, excellent. So all of these things are actually free and moving. Yeah, I think this will work. Okie dokie. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add some flashy lights to this thing. Two of them are going to flash on each end, and two of them aren't. So blinker is what we need. We also don't need this in the center anymore because, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a fuel tank. All right, there we go. So blinker is going to go right there. It's going to connect itself to uh, this light and this light. Yes. And then we'll do the same on the back end as well. We'll have two blinky lights, that one and that one. And then the rest of them are going to attach to the button, uh, which we put somewhere down here. We'll actually just attach it straight to the top of there. So this is underneath, under lights. This is under lights. And this is runway lights. There we go. All right. Excellent. We'll probably add some more runway lights as well, but for now, this is okay. All right. So, that goes into there, and then it connects to everyone that we haven't actually connected to yet. So, there we go. So, some of these will flash, and some of these will stay constantly on. 
And that should be excellent. There we go. Very good. Yeah, we might, we might actually need bigger batteries for this. I'm not going to lie. We might need a bigger battery. Because at the minute, <laughs> we've got one small battery. And that's just probably not enough. So there you go. But anyway, that should all work. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to... It's going to blink every, like, two seconds, I want to say. So it's going to be on for two seconds, off for two seconds. I think that makes sense. Right, every one of these actually needs electricity now as well. So we'll do that. And we'll connect it to there. We'll connect it to there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, we got this, guys. We got this. Okay, okay. So that's going to connect to there, 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 and there. And then these will connect to here and here. And that'll be awesome. Yeah. Do these guys need electricity? Probably not, but we'll give them it anyway. Bam. There we go. All right, excellent. So that should all work. Let's go ahead and save it. We'll spawn it in on the runway, and we'll see if they work. Okie dokie, there she is. That's pretty awesome. I might have issues with actually folding this down now, but we'll see. No, that actually does fold down completely fine. Runway lights, under lights, there we go. All right, awesome. We're then going to go up onto the tippity top and see what happens. All right, so they are flashing. That's excellent. On for two seconds, off for two seconds. We got the little bumpy things on the end, and then we've got this right here. I actually think we'll make these bigger. Instead of just one... I think there'll be more. I feel like there should be more. Also, it shouldn't really spawn in like that, but that's okay. Alright, excellent. Yeah. No, this is great. This is really cool. Alright, so yeah, because we do actually need more, we could actually put like another layer of these in if we wanted to. But what I'm thinking is that we actually just have three on each one. So there we go. I have three right there. We'll have three right there. And then three right here as well. There we go. Alright, excellent. So now we should actually be able to get caught by that and that'll be awesome. Yes. Alright, I also think that we should have some sort of like little system on the back end uh, that looks a little bit like this. Uh, so essentially we'll add a little thing right there. We'll then put ourselves a spotlight uh, right onto here. And that'll point forwards. And that'll actually be a light for the whole deck. So that we can actually see what's going on on the deck. Uh, it's not going to be too bright, but if you're landing the wrong way, it will be very bright. <laughs> so there you go. But anyway, if we can grab this button... Under lights, no, the one above. Runway lights. Ah, uh, can we click it from here? I can't click it. All right, we'll go get it. One second. There we go. All right, runway lights. Let's do it. Come on. All the way to this end. We'll go ahead and put it right there. Put it right there, and we'll save it. And that should be p pretty cool. Now, okay, right. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and save it. Yes, and then we're gonna go ahead and load up a plane of mine. Uh, hopefully, quite a small one. So. I'm thinking we use a propeller-powered plane that isn't actually that fast. Uh, I'm not sure what it would be. Probably the red bacon, to be fair. Although that won't take off in time, so maybe not. But there it is, the red bacon. If we could make this have foldable wings, then maybe, just maybe, we'd actually be able to use it um, as a carrier plane. Maybe. I don't know, though. Not sure. Let's go ahead and copy the entire thing. We'll actually put it on top of the deck, and we'll see what happens. Actually, I have an easier way of doing this. All right, mission editor, let's do it. Let's go ahead and edit the objects, and I'll actually put it on top. So, red bacon, here it is. You guys can actually see it, right? Yes. Okay, we are... Oh, it looks a bit big. It looks a lot too big, actually. The plane that we're going to have to land on this thing is going to have to be really small. But that's okay. Right, so let's do this this way. There we go. We'll have it up in the air for now. Yes, just like this. And then once we actually spawn it in, we can actually fold down the sides, and that should be okay. All right, ready? Fold down the sides. There we go, do this and this. And we'll see if this works. All right, go on the deck. There it is. All right, red bacon. Nice, this could be the plane for us. So what we'd do is we'd actually put a... Oh, this isn't the real... This isn't the upgraded one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That's okay. So, what we'd actually do is we'd have a connector, like this one, on the bottom of the plane. And that would actually stop it from moving. But also, the slack in it, because this wire moves too. So, it'd be pretty cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and get inside the seat and see if we can take off while it's not moving. Lights. Alright, start the engine. Gyro one. Go. It might be too slow. <laughs> oh, it works. There we go. Alright, cool. So... Our little biplane uh, is flying, currently. I have zero control over it, which is amazing. Um, yeah, this will work. This will totally work. 
So yeah, if I fix this thing uh, and we can actually get that working, that'll be great. At the minute, I don't have pitch on this thing, so uh, although we did take off, it is just spiraling round, round, round. All right, let's edit the plane so that it works and put a little connector on it. We'll have that thing start moving and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, dokey. So just for testing purposes, we are going to go ahead and fix this real quick. I don't know why it wouldn't be working. Uh, I do know why it wouldn't be working. There we go. Fixed. Uh, and then we're actually going to go ahead and put a connector right here. So connector. We might have to have it like point down a little bit actually behind this. So I think we could delete... Actually, let's just uh, grab some red. There we go. Put that piece pointing downwards. There we go. We'll then just add it to there. Okay. I don't think it's going to be too in the way, so I think that'll be fine. All right, excellent. Good. Uh, we need a way of turning that off, though. We actually need a way of turning it off so we can actually take off. All right, very good. Show, sure, and that will go to... I don't know what anything does. What does 5 do? doesn't have a label. All right, let's figure out what 5 does. So 5 does this, which is a flare. We don't need any flares. Okay. Five, we'll go to this so we can actually release ourselves. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and save that as the red bacon. Okay, excellent. Save, yes. Uh, and then we need to go back to the other thing, my Bobby, the runway. Uh, and I'm actually going to make this thing move uh, all by itself because reasons. So there you go. Delete this guy. We'll get ourselves a motor and we'll have it just move itself. I think that'll be fine. Honestly, I think it'll be okay. Uh, and we'll actually just put that right here. Bam. Max value is going to be something like 0 0.1. Not actually 0 0.15. There we go. And electricity, please. And connect that to there. Electricity. Bam, bam. And we're good to go. And there it all is. All right. Epic. This is actually very, very cool. So we'll actually lower the, uh, the sides down to make sure that they actually work. We'll then have it go forwards and that'll be great. And then we'll see what happens from there. So under lights on. Run actually turn those off. Leave the runway ones on. There we go. Fold it down. Okay, excellent. The plane stays on board. And then we'll actually send it forwards like this. Oh, wait. Where is it? What? Did I not upgrade this? Or did I not save it? Uh-oh. That's what I did. I just spawned it in. Yeah, that, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Let's save it. There we go. Uh, and then we'll replace the one that's up there. And we'll see if this works. Okie dokie. Everybody ready? Everybody ready. All right, so lights on. There we go. Fold this down. Excellent. And then do this. It should start it moving. Yes, it is going to go very slowly for some reason. Well, actually, I know why. It's only a tiny motor and it's trying to move this entire piece, but it is moving. That's far too slow. <laughs> this is incredibly slow, but it's okay. It serves a purpose, so that's good. All right. Right, 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 right. Are we connected to anything up here? It is not currently connected. All right, excellent. Um, mm, let's get on board. There we go. Uh, press nav lights, yes. Let's go ahead and press 5. Throttle up. There we go. Press 2. Go. Okay, so we're flying our biplane. And it actually seems fine. Okay, excellent. We're going to fly around until that thing gets on the straight. And then once it's on the straight, we're going to test our uh, arresting cable and see if it works. I'm not going to lie. I honestly forgot that I had built this plane. And actually, it is a pretty good test plane for this because... It flies pretty slowly, uh, 55, there you go. Uh, and actually, it should be able to land pretty pretty well as well. So let's see what happens here and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go for it. All right, here we go. It is pretty much on the straight now. Uh, all we got to do is press 5 and make sure that that is not on. And then we're going for a landing. Here we go. Here we go, indeedy. Okay, excellent. Excellent. This relies heavily on my piloting skills as well. And, uh, not gonna lie, there isn't many there. But we'll see, but here we go. Alright, we set the plane on fire. Alright, okay, so this is actually a very difficult thing. However, it wouldn't be so difficult if the runway was actually moving quicker. Which it would be. So let's sort that out. <laughs> Look at us, we're on fire. Alright, okay, so let's go ahead and see how this goes, shall we? Go ahead and put that down straight away. There we go. Go ahead and put the lights on. We're actually going to go ahead and put infinite electricity on for now because this is uh, a test, obviously. And uh, yeah, we want to see if it works. So let's send this. There we go. We are moving quite nicely. Okay, it's still going to go slower than we realistically want it to go, but that's okay. Alright, we need to get in the plane now, so let's do that. Here we go. 
Right, this is excellent. This is excellent. It's wheel spinning like crazy. <laughs> it is wheel spinning like crazy. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Wait, we've just got stopped. Oh no! What did we get stopped by? Is it really not tall enough again? Oh, that sucks. We need to move everything up again. Okay. Alright, well this is going to be a tricky landing, but we're going to do it backwards. Okay. So the reason we're actually going to take off and fly in backwards is because we just need to test the arresting cables. Okay, that's all we need to do. So let's fly back over there. Alright, and see if it attaches on. That's all we need to do. Alright, here we go. Alright, I missed. I did miss that. <laughs> That's actually super annoying. I wanted it to be like, I wanted it to work, but it just doesn't uh, the way that I wanted it to. Alright, here we go. Alright, we flew too high over, and this plane just blows itself up. Alright, excellent. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, okay, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for right now that we can't test it. Um, it's just a bit annoying that we can't test it. That's all. Alright, hold on. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, we need it to, to work better than that anyway. So that is a good thing that we are testing it at least that much. So let's go ahead and get back down here. Okay. Uh, and we need it to move faster, but also we need it to actually be lifted a bit. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to grab it from right about here. Okay. And we're going to take it all the way along and we're going to grab this entire thing. Okay. So the entire top piece is going to be. Um, Picked up. Okay. Right. I'm going to move this up by one or two. I'll move it up by two and I'll be right back. And there we go. All right, cool. So I posted it or pasted it, I should say. We're going to go ahead and put these in right here. We're going to put those in and we need to make sure those fit together, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and merge this with this. We need to make sure whatever's going on here is fixed. There we go. And that seems excellent. We then need to do the same at the back or the front or yeah, whatever this bit is. I think it's the front. There we go. And that is awesome sauce. We're then going to do this as well. Bam, bam. Uh, and it is all connected together. It's a little bit higher. And it should actually move properly now. Let's do it. Okie dokie. So we had a bit of a problem here. Uh, essentially what happened was some of the arresting hooks actually attached to each other, which is not the best. So that needs sorting a little bit before we actually use this thing properly. Uh, but for testing purposes, we are actually a-okay. Alright, let's go ahead and jump inside this thing. Press uh, 1. There we go. Uh, the, the, fact this, the, eh, the fact that this plane keeps exploding is a bit annoying, but that's okay. Because now we're flying, okay, and I forgot to do the thing. I forgot to even make the thing move, so we need to do that. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and get inside the plane. Alright, I'm sorry guys if this is boring you, but I'm trying my best. Okay, so, we're going to put nav lights on, we're then going to press 3 for the brakes, we're going to press 5 to turn off the thingamabobbies. Uh, on the back, and that should be good. We then need to run to the front and lower the sides down, and then we can actually just take off. We'll get this thing moving, and everything will be okay. Okay, so hopefully that all goes to plan. Let's do it. Under lights, runway lights, put that down. Go ahead and do this. All right, slowly. It'll be going way quicker than this as well. Uh, we'll be going the speed that the Polar Express goes, so yeah. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and send it just like that. That's okay. Alright, very good. Get in the red bacon and let's fly away. Alright, ready? Everybody ready? We didn't hit the thing this time. That's epic. And for some reason, we have slowed down. We are slowing down. Alright, it's going to be tricky again, but whatever. Let's go. Okay, we're in the sky. We are in the sky. Very nice. Very nice indeedy. Yes. Alright, press 5 so we can actually attach on. And that's excellent. The thing is still moving, so that's good. And let's see if we can do this. It is on a big curve, though. That's a problem. I just thought of an idea as well. So we don't explode. Let's just go ahead and throttle down. And uh, that'll actually help us out a lot, I think. Here we go. Let's have a little look at our speed. There we go. We're going 38 now. Okay, that's excellent. That's a lot slower than we were going. Let's go a little bit slower. 45. That's quicker than we were going. What? <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense, but okay, we're going down. And let's see what we can do here. Alright, everybody ready. Everybody ready. 
I'm still going quicker than the thing is. I mean, we landed without it. <laughs> we oh, uh, we took off again because ah, oh, my plane's poopy. My plane is actually poopy, but that's okay. We actually managed to land on the aircraft carrier thingamabobby. I'm not. Should we call it an aircraft carrier? I don't know. On the runway, uh, all by ourselves. So we don't even need the arresting cable thingamabobby, but it is a thing. So that's good. Also, the fact that we are actually just pushing ourselves like this isn't the best because the wheel spin is happening and we are not going the speed that we need to be going. So, uh, I think in the next video, we'll actually come up with a, a, an idea to fix that. And we might even extend the runway that way. Uh, maybe a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but for right now, I think this will work. Um, possibly. Which would be great. Uh, we'll have to see if it works. And, um, yeah. Alright, so in the next video, we'll pull it with a train. And then we'll try and land on it with the red bacon. And we'll also maybe edit the red bacon so it doesn't just explode all the time. That seems like a good idea. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any suggestions on what we can add to this thing, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.